Hello and welcome to Spastastic TV. I'm your host Spastastic. Obviously, it says so on the bottom of the video. Um, you may have been seeing a lot of this little black and white TV on my, on my channel, and there's nothing really special about it, other than you know, it's just a black and white TV. However, uh, how was I able to get video from a cam from, from, from a camera like that to a screen on a TV like this when? Uh, the only input that's right there, um, I guess I could probably unplug it and actually, you know, move it up towards the camera, go into macro mode, is this uh, extra antenna or extension for antenna. I didn't know how to deal with that, so what I ended up getting, now this is going to require a little bit of a jump cut, so what I ended up getting was uh, this thing. This is a digital full band modulator, model M69. Um, it's actually, I really wish they would have actually put like the thing on it. Now, interestingly, yes, you can't get away from the references. Freaking, uh, this was made in Wuhan, China by a, comp by a company, I think it's called Wuhan Technologies Limited. Something like that. But this is an RF broadcaster, um, which will do analog broadcasting. Anyhow, it, it needs an antenna on it. And so since I don't have a an antenna freaking uh, that's you know capable of doing a lot of stuff I just grabbed a set of rabbit ears that I had downstairs you know thinking about it I cleaned the TV you think I gotta wipe the dust off of this but anyhow that's not important um, screw that into the RF out probably could either you know speed this up or you know jump cut now I'm gonna go with a speed this up now I have no idea why this cable for this camera came with an S video out. The video quality on that camera is not that good. If you actually go back and watch like the original videos on my channel, that's what it is. But anyhow, um, that's like that, and I'm still gonna have to do a damn jump cut. And now I'm on the other side of the camera, so I'm gonna look a little differently. Um, right now this is on, and it's tuned to channel 12. Um, I'm gonna kinda set this off in the back right here for a second. And, uh, well, I guess I could... I'm just going to move this over to the side. You just got to take my word that it, it's plugged in. By the way, if you ever thought that these little knobs didn't do something, I'll, actually, I'll just show that to you here in a second. Um, oh, God, that's loud. Wait for that thing to word of life. Um, this is not tuned to channel 12. Let's see. What the fuck do I... Oh. By the way, there's different bands on TVs. I had it set on VHF, of which this thing does a shit job of broadcasting on, which is sort of like a lower quality, different band for television. It's kind of like the AM of television. Um, however, uh, but yeah, no, if you don't believe that these little knobs do something, look at the TV screen. I'll leave it right there because it seemed to work better. Let's see if I can get it tuned in just a little better. Now, I take this camera which hopefully has a charge just as a demonstrative purpose well now the camera's on you can see in the background well I'm gonna have to mute the TV for this otherwise I'm gonna get nothing but microphone feedback alright that's better but you know you can take it over here and you can get the mirror effect it doesn't really come over it, it doesn't come over on camera very well at all but yeah, no, this is how I was able to broadcast it. I just recorded onto this camera and turned around. I really hope I'm not blowing your eardrums out. My face is right next to this microphone. I should probably talk a little quiet. That's what freaking audio equalization is for. But yeah, if you were wondering how I did that, it involved many adapters and many different things. Now, okay, I could probably turn this. Yeah. Just leave that. Oh, fuck. Leave that show in the background of the studio. Um, but anyhow, I mean like this, I mean like if I press the channel plus, it goes all in static, obviously. Um, it has a little bit of freaking vertical hold. Now the RFN right here, I have not been able to get the damn thing to work with the RFN. Not sure why. It, it, it seems to act like more of a pass-through, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. Because this, is, this actually has an amplifier for an antenna. I mean like, I'm carrying the antenna away, I'm actually... Gonna walk back here with it. I'm behind the camera now, so probably sound like I'm really far away. Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi. I'll just set that on the floor and trip. Well, I'll set it over on the other side of the camera and trip on it later. This thing actually has a few little interesting little... Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> I'll just turn this off. But this is what the, what the video is about. I'm gonna have to unplug this. And uh, it goes... It has a lot of channels on it. 
And I was actually broadcasting live, I mean, but this thing doesn't broadcast far enough to hopefully, you know, it goes all the way to channel 136. Now, however, uh, I'm trying to remember, if you hold the set button, I remember if you press one of these, <clears throat> I don't remember. It's got little things for the output level and everything on it, which you're obviously going to want to be max. Um, there is a way to set this to broadcast in a PAL signal. I don't remember how to do that. It was in the instructions that are somewhere in this fucking disaster of a studio. But uh, anyhow, uh, if you found this video slightly entertaining, or if you could tell me how to make a different style of antenna, or a better style of antenna than these uh, rabbit ears, for uh, broadcasting, so I could, you know, like, I mean, this is the UHF loop. I guess I could hold it in frame. Um, it doesn't broadcast at all on the UHF band. VHF low, it doesn't do very well, but I think it has to do with these antennas because I think these were meant for, like, the VHF high band. But, you know, other than that, that's the M69 possible sexual connotation uh, freaking uh, analog TV broadcaster. Probably ought to unplug that because technically FCC, well, it is actually FCC compliant because it doesn't broadcast over a certain range, probably depending on if you were not like an electrical engineer and knew how to build a signal amplifier for it and proper antennas. But anyhow, I'm Spastastic. Thanks for watching some techno musical play now. Hopefully this video actually had some sort of a flow or logic to it. I don't know. Woo. My boy here jumps out.